Welcome to Get Piano Lesson 1. My name is Brandon, and I'm the creator of GetPianoLessons.com. If you've ever wanted an easier and more comprehensive way of learning the piano, you're in the right place. I've come up with my own series of free piano lessons that I'm pretty confident will show you how to quickly start playing the piano from the comfort of your own home and with little emphasis on all the music terminology. Now, music theory is an important part of learning the piano, or any musical instrument for that matter, but it's not completely necessary to focus so heavily on it in the very beginning. Let me show you a brief example of what I mean. Now that's a simple tune we'll be playing at around the 10th lesson in my series. And as I said, you won't need to learn a single ounce of music theory in order to play that piece. So let's get started with Get Piano Lesson 1. But first, I've got some good news. As far as our requirement for reading notes during my course, for this lesson and for our first 40 to 50 lessons, we're only going to need to know one note. And that's going to be our C note. Now just like all the other notes of the piano, the C note repeats itself across the piano several times, but they're very easy to find. Wherever you see a group of two black keys on the piano, the white note to the immediate left is always C. Now if you're sitting in front of your piano keyboard at home, I want you to go ahead and play all the C notes on your instrument. If you have a keyboard with a complete set of 88 keys, for instance, then you'll have a total of 8 C's to play, starting from left to right. For instance, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. If you have a smaller range keyboard at home, say a 61 note keyboard, then you'll only have 6 C's to play. Now the C note that lines up closest to the exact center of any piano keyboard, large or small, is what we call middle C. And middle C is essentially what splits the piano into what's commonly known as the treble and the bass sections, which are also commonly played with the right and the left hand, although that's not completely mandatory. But middle C is where we're going to start, and it's going to be the foundation of most of our first 40 to 50 lessons together. So before we start with our first exercise, Let's assign each of our fingers a number. It's important to do this because we want to ensure proper fingering as we proceed with our lessons. So in piano, our thumb is always given the number one. Number two will be our index finger. Number three, our middle finger. Number four is our ring finger. And number five will assign to our little finger or pinky. So once again, that's number one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to place our right hand on the piano with our thumb resting on middle C. Next place your number two index finger on the white key to the right of middle C. And then your number three, four, and five fingers on the next three white keys respectively. With our right hand resting in this position on the piano with our thumb on middle C, this is commonly known as the middle C hand position. But more importantly, for the purpose of our lessons here, we're going to call this our first position, or position number one. Now, in addition to numbering our fingers and placing our hands in the correct position on the keyboard, we also need to maintain proper form in our fingers, hands, wrists, and forearms whenever we're at the piano. When our hands are resting on the piano, it's actually the tips of our fingers that are touching the piano keys, with the exception of the thumb, which actually lies on its side. The fingers should be curved, and our palms should ideally be in a sort of cup position, as if we were holding a small ball in our hand. Now if you to take that ball out of your hand, that basic shape that's left over is what's going to allow certain fingers to duck under and reach over other fingers as you need to get to other parts of the keyboard. In addition, our wrists should be up, but not too high. Our forearms should be in a horizontal position to the ground, and make sure you keep your shoulders relaxed. Now as far as the height of your keyboard, remember, whether you're sitting or standing, 
If you make sure that your keyboard level is no higher than your elbows, your arms and wrists should automatically line up so that you're in a comfortable position to play at the piano.